Hello everyone and welcome back to section 2 of the C++ tutorials. Um, in section 2 we're going to be covering... A l actually it'll probably be a little bit less material than we did in section 1. It's just going to be more complicated. Um, hopefully... well, not hopefully, but what I seek to accomplish in this next section is to teach you how to use for and while loops um, we're not really going to touch on do while. We can, but I really don't find myself using them that often. Um, so we're going to touch on, you know, simple for and simple while loops, talking about uh, nested loops, because those are used quite frequently in real programming. And, um,. I suppose we can talk about case structure as well, and switch statements. So without any further ado, I'm going to begin by showing you what a simple while loop is. Now, like I said in the last section, when we tend to use something as an iterator, or better known as a counter, you will see the letter I an awful lot. Um, it's in programming books, it's in, you know, just code that's out on the web, it's in everything. I don't know why. i is the number to count by. So in this case we're setting an integer named i equal to zero. Um, some programs will fuss if you don't uh, uh, set the value to something before a loop. Okay, so what a while or a for or a do while, uh, do whiles don't really count, but what a while or a for statement is, is it's the same as an if, but it repeats what the the if would do until the statement is no longer true. Let me show you. So let's say while i is equal to zero, uh, and then we need our scope operators because whatever happens in this while, uh, we you know don't want it to happen. So what I'm going to do is actually say while i is less than ten because that's going to give you a better sort of a uh, look at what I'm doing. We're going to see out i every time through this loop, and then we're going to increment i. And this is what's known as a post increment, meaning that it increments after it outputs the number. If we change it to the other side, it will increment the number and then output it. And I'll show you the difference between the two. Now. Okay, I'll, I'll get to everything I'm thinking of in just a moment. Now, if you take a look, our output is going to be the numbers 0 through 9. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, why didn't it output 10? And the answer is because when i is equal to 10, it's going to check, see that it's equal to 10 and not less than it. It's going to come and skip right down to here, and then there's nothing left in the program. So, if we actually added an output right here for i, i should be 10 right there. And yeah, it is. So I just want to show you the alternative where we increment i the other way. And this is actually going to make it uh, still 0 through 9. Okay, that I'm going to have to show you a different example to get that how I want it. All right. So that's a, a simple while statement. While i is less than 10, it's just going to increment i and output it. Now, what a for loop is, is very similar, except it's slightly more complicated. A for loop has three parts. You have four. And typically, in the first one, you'll see something like i equals 0. And that's just setting the counter that you want. It's, it's initializing. Then in the middle, you're going to see the conditional. In this case, we're going to want i is less than 10. And each one of these has a semicolon after it. And then you're going to, in the final spot, have an iterator, i++. And so then in this for loop, all we need is c out i. And it's automatically going to iterate for us. We don't need the i++ that we had before. So just to show you, these two statements or well, these two 
loops to be technical. Um, are technically the exact same thing. And I'll show you here. And when this actually goes through, I don't need to reset i, even though it's going to be 10 right here, because the for loop is actually setting it to 0. So we'll start that, and it should just be the numbers 0 through 9, and 0 through 9 again. Um, Again, there's a lot of different things that we can use with these statements. Uh, there's a lot of different types of things that need to be counted, and I'm going to really try to show you a lot of examples of different ways to utilize loops. Um, there's going to be... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Intro to C++ Teacher's Final and present it to you guys as a lesson because I think that the, the message in it's pretty useful. But for now, what I want you to take away from this lesson is that while loops really only have one part, um, and that's their, their check, and you're in charge of how you iterate. Um, and mind you, you don't always have to use I++. If you want, you can say I plus equals two in either of these. Um, Actually, I think it might be i plus 2. You know what? I'll test it. You guys are coming on an adventure with me. I'm going to see if these two things are now the same. I'm just going to insert a blank line here with an end L, just so I have a space in between. And I want to see if those two things are exactly the same. Nope. It would appear as though this statement has not done what I've wanted it to. Okay. And we're going... That is what's called an endless loop. In this case, I've output quite a few zeros. And the reason why is because it's it's not actually setting this to anything. So in this case, if I run it again, now that it's set to plus equals 2, you'll see that it's just printing out the even numbers from these number sets. And if I were to do 3, it would just be 0, 3, 6, 9. Or, well, that's my assumption. And... Yeah. So you can increment by anything you want. Typically you'll see people increment by one. Um, a quick little homework assignment for you guys is going to be... Actually, I should just leave that there so I can post the code. Um, a quick little homework assignment for you guys. Write a code that increments by one and counts from 0 to 100. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of the most common errors involving loops in the next video. So with that much being said, I hope you guys took something away from this. Uh, subscribe, ask anything you want about this video or any other videos in the comments below, or send me a message, and get back to me. And hopefully... I'll be able to clarify whatever you needed help with. Have a nice night.